Math is a wonderful thing. Math is a really cool thing. Alright, this is now the second part of our video for our Pythagorean theorem. Now again, remember that the formula for the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equal to c squared, where a and b are the legs of your triangle and c will be your hypotenuse. Sometimes, um, instead of using C, we use H to denote that this side is our hypotenuse. Remember that the sides containing your right angle will be your legs. In this case, we have leg A and leg B. It is also possible to interchange your label for your legs. We can call this as leg B and this one as leg A. It will not really matter. As long as you know what are your legs, and what is your hypotenuse, you'll be okay for your Pythagorean theorem. So if we don't know the value of our hypotenuse and we have the value of our legs, we can use this formula. Just take the square root of the sum of the square of your two legs and that will be your hypotenuse. So here is an example. So what is the length of our side BC? Now remember, your BC is your hypotenuse. So let me label this as H. Now we have legs 15 and 20. Label 15 as our A and 20 as our B. And then using our formula, we will have A squared plus B squared equal to your hypotenuse squared. Plug in your 15 to your A, 20 to your B. We will have this. Now, 15 squared is 2 to 5, 20 squared is 400, equal to whatever your um, hypotenuse is. Remember that we are solving for our hypotenuse, so we let our um, variable to be equal to x. Now, if you want, you can replace this with h. Replace this with h. Now, 2 to 5 plus 400 is equal to 625 equal to h squared. Now we need the value of your h. To get rid of your exponent 2, we have to take the square root. So square root of h squared will just be equal to h. And then square root of 625 is equal to 25. Therefore, the value of our side bc is 25. Next example. Given this figure, find the value of x. Based from this illustration, x is our hypotenuse. So we have again legs 4 and 3. Using the formula, we can have a squared plus b squared equal to your hypotenuse squared. Replacing your legs a and b by 4 and 3 respectively, we'll get 4 squared plus 3 squared equal to your x squared. Now 4 squared is equal to 16 3 squared is equal to 9. You add 16 and 9 equal to x squared. 16 plus 9 is 25 equal to your x squared. Now take the square root both sides and you will get 5 equal to your x. So your hypotenuse here is equal to 5. Alright, for this example, I need you to pause the video and solve for your hypotenuse. <coughs> When you solve this problem, your hypotenuse will be start by a squared plus 8 squared plus 11 squared equal to x squared. You should be able to get 185. Now take the square root of both sides, you'll get x equals 13.6. So the length of your side BC should be 13 points. All right, next example. Now again, pause the video, solve this question, and make sure that you round off your answer to the nearest tense. <coughs> All right, so here should be your solution. Sum the square of the legs, 10 squared plus 11 squared. Should be able to get 2 to 1. Take the square root and should be able to get 14.86. Now it says here we need to round off to the nearest tense. So this is your tense place. Since the number to the right of 8 is more than 4, we have to add 1 to your 8. So your hypotenuse or length BC should be equal to 
9. Alright, now what if one of the legs is missing? So here will be the procedure to solve for one of the legs. So in this case, you have to label first the parts of your um, triangle. Not really parts, but the measurement of the size of your triangle. So 5 here is your hypotenuse. We know that this is your hypotenuse because it is across your right angle. So label this as your C. Now 4 is your leg. We know that this is a leg because it's one of the legs containing the right angle. So this is leg 1 and this will be your leg number 2. Now it doesn't really matter how you assign the name of your leg. You can name this as uh, leg A or you can also name this as leg It does not really matter. Okay, let's label this as leg A. And the one that we are missing is leg B. So now we plug in my A is equal to 4. Place your A by 4, raise that to 2. Now B is unknown. Now my hypotenuse is equal to 5, so 5 squared. So whenever you are solving for the leg, you always have to subtract. Okay, so in this case, um, let's simplify first 4 squared. This is equal to 16 plus B squared equal to 25. Since we are solving for your B squared or for your B, we need to get rid of your 16. So we have to subtract 16 to both sides. Bring down your B squared. 25 minus 16 is equal to 9. Solving for your B, take the square root. So B is equal to 3. So the value of your um, the measurement of side AC is equal to 3 units. Now what if instead of saying that this is your leg A, let's say one of your classmates um, identified this as your side B or leg B and assuming that this is your leg A. And of course, this is still our hypotenuse. As what I've said earlier, it does not really matter how you label your legs. As long as you label your hypotenuse correctly, you'll be alright. So with this example, I'm going to show you that despite of naming this as leg B, we are going to get the same value for this length AC. So using our uh, formula Pythagorean theorem my a squared or my a is unknown so just write a squared my b in this example is 4 raise that to 2 now my hypotenuse is 5 so I have a squared 4 squared is equal to 16 5 squared equals 25 subtract 16 to both sides will get a squared equal to 25 minus 16 is 9. Take the square root, so a will be equal to 3. So as you notice, we'll get the same um, length for our side AC. It will still be 3 units. So again, it does not really matter how you label your legs. As long as you label and identify your hypothesis correctly, you should be able to get the correct answer. Alright, next example. We have this triangle and we are missing one of the legs. So we know that this will be your hypotenuse, again because it's across your right angle. I have one of the legs. The measurement is equal to 24 centimeters. Um, I don't have one of the legs. So we can label this as either A or B. Again, it does not really matter. In this case, I'm going to label this as leg A. So using our formula, replacing our A by 24. Now your side um, AC is missing. And let us use B to indicate uh, the measurement for side AC. And then my hypotenuse in this case is 51. Raise this to 2. Alright, next, let's take 24 squared. Now, just in case you don't know where is the exponent 2 in our calculator, it will be located here above this open parenthesis. So you have to press 24 and then x squared. So 24x squared is equal to 576. 
plus b squared now 51 squared you have to press 5 1 and then x squared when you raise 51 to 2 you should be able to get 2601 All right, subtract 576 to both sides. Bring down your b squared. Now subtract this 2601 and 576. You should be able to get 2025. And then take the square root. So just um, square root will be this button. Okay. So you can just press. Um, Two zero two five and take the squared button it should give you 45 all right there we go that's how we solve the leg a C it should be 45 centimeters all right for this problem I need you to pause the video and solve for the missing side all right first we need to identify what is missing Okay, let's identify what is this side. Now, note that this side is across your right triangle. I mean, right angle. It means that this will be your hypotenuse. Now, this is a leg because this side contains the right angle. Now, we can label this as A or B. Now, in this case, I'm going to label this as leg A. And the one that is missing is your leg B. Using our formula, A squared plus B squared equal to H squared. So I have my A equals 10. So 10 squared plus B squared. My hypotenuse is 26 squared. Now 10 squared is 100 plus B squared. 26 squared is equal to 676 subtract 100 to both sides bring down your b squared now 676 minus 100 will be 576 so when you take the square root of 576 your answer will be 24 therefore the missing leg is equal to your 20 is equal to 24 units all right, next problem. Again, I need you to pause the video and solve for the missing side. All right, the first step is identify what is the missing side. So 15, it's across your right angle. So we know that 15 is your hypotenuse. This side contains the right angle. Therefore, this will be a leg so we can label this as either a or b i'll just label this as a and the other side will be let's just change this into side b all right so we're solving for your side b using the formula a squared plus b squared equal to your hypotenuse squared replacing your a by 13 raise that to 2 b squared equal to your hypotenuse which is 15 now 13 squared it's equal to 169 plus b squared equals 15 squared it's equal to 225 subtract 169 to both sides so b squared equal to 225 minus 169 is equal to 56 now take the square root your b will be equal to 7.48331 it says here round off the answer to the nearest tens so our tens place is 4 the number after 4 is 8 so we have to add 1 to our 4 it should be equal to 7.5 now we use the unit yards so we have to write 7.5 yards all right for this problem again i need you to pause the video and solve for the missing side first identify what is missing is it a hypotenuse or a leg now this is the missing side and this side is across your right angle therefore this is your 
hypotenuse. These two legs contain our right angle. Therefore, these two sides will be your legs. We can label this as A and this as B. Okay. Now, using the formula, we'll have A squared plus B squared equal to hypotenuse squared. My A is equal to 5 raise that to 2, b is equal to 12, raise that to 2, equal to 8 squared. Now, 5 squared is equal to 25, 12 squared is 144, equal to 8 squared. So now we have to add 25 and 144, should be able to get 169, equal to your hypotenuse squared. Solving for your h, take the square root, and h will be equal to 13. So in this case, the hypotenuse, the side that we are missing, is equal to 13. Alright, for this problem, pause the video and solve for the missing side. Alright, the answer for this problem is 13.99 or 14. The answer for this problem should be 24. If you have not solved this question, Please pause the video and solve for your missing side. Alright, for this problem, we are missing a leg. And this leg should be equal to 9. Alright, what if we have a question like this? Find the area of each square. Uh, aside from solving for the missing side, we need also to find the area of each square. At first, we need to identify what is this side. Um, this side is actually our hypotenuse. It's across our right angle. So to solve for the hypotenuse, let's use our formula a squared plus b squared equal to your hypotenuse squared. I'll label this as a, this as b, replacing our a by 6, b as 8, so 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64 equal to h squared. Now adding 36 and 64, we are going to get 100. Take the square root. So h is equal to 10. So this side is equal to 10. Now to find the area, all right, since this is 10, this should also be a 10. Okay, because this is a square. So the area for this square you have to, you have to multiply side times side which is equal to 100 so this one is 100 units squared for this square you have to multiply 8 times 8 it will be equal to 64 units squared and for this square the area will be 6 times 6 equal to 36 units squared Alright, for this problem, I need you to pause the video and find the area of each square. Alright, so using your Pythagorean theorem, um, the missing leg, which is the hypotenuse, should be equal to 13. So the area for this square should be 13 times 13, which is 169. Here, um, just multiply 12 by itself. 12 times 12 will be 144. And then here, 5 times 5, it will be equal to 25. So this is the area of each square. All right, for this problem, pause the video and solve for the area of each square. So first, we need to identify our missing side. Now, what is this missing side? Is it a leg or hypotenuse? You're right, it should be legs because the hypotenuse is the side across your right angle. So we already have our hypotenuse, therefore this should be a leg. We can label this as either um, leg A or leg B. I'll label this as leg B and then this will be my leg A. Again, using the formula, A squared plus B squared equal to H squared. A is equal to 6, raise that to 2. B is unknown h is 10, raise that to 2, 6 squared is 36, b squared equals 10 squared 100, subtract 36 to both sides, we'll get b squared equals 64, 
then take the square root your b will be equal to 8 so once we have b equals 8 we cannot find the area of this square 8 times 8 will be 64 so actually the number that we have here earlier 64 now this will be um, the area for this square will be 10 times 10 which is 100 which is again this number here and finally the area for this square is 36 6 times 6 or 6 squared all right there we go that's how we use Pythagorean theorem on how to solve missing side all right so after watching this video and solving all of the examples you will be able to solve the worksheet attached at the end of the packet. Math is a wonderful thing. Math is a really cool thing.